What is a root flare? It's the portion of the tree where the root system becomes the trunk of the tree that we see. It's a critical area where the unseen root system becomes the visible part of the tree. There are two things that you need to think about and remember when you're thinking about your tree. There's two types of tissue. One is a tissue that is aerial. It was created to be above the soil. And the other part is root tissue that's supposed to be in ground. If you put soil up on that aerial tissue, you're creating something that wasn't designed to occur. The further you go up on the aerial tissue, the greater the problem is. And it's not a definitive line, but it's a transition zone. It's an area at the base of the tree. 80% of the trees planted by professionals, people that are in the industry, are planted too deep. So you put in homeowners that might not be as adept at it, the percentage goes up. Whether it's 80, 75, it's a big number. If you're not deliberate, it's easy to overplant the tree. You pile up stuff on it, things like that. But the growing techniques are producing trees that are too deep. It's across the board. And that's why the percentage is as high as it is. Other practices such as mulching, building, planting beds, laying sod, those things add to the problem. So it's literally everywhere you go. And a lot of times you see it and you go out and you don't think it's a problem, but remember, eventually it will be. What are the symptoms of a tree with covered root flares? A thinning canopy. This is probably the number one reason somebody calls an arborist. My tree's thinning every year. It gets a little bit worse. I don't know what's going on. Can you come help me? The tree has smaller leaves. Gradually, maybe the leaves are getting smaller. The color of the leaves. I've got three trees in my front yard. This one doesn't have the same color as the others. Trees that are more susceptible to insect diseases, problems that we encounter all the time. A dying tree. This tree was died a slow, agonizing death. It's finally been relieved. It's no longer with us. But it literally took years of decline before it happened. What does covering the root flare do? It basically puts that soil up on that aerial tissue and you reduce oxygen to the aerial tissue. The increased moisture causes a swelling. The soil can literally itself cause a restriction. The soil can hide or cover potential injuries or other problems. And number five, it covers up girdling roots. Girdling roots or encircling roots are roots that are growing around the tree. If it's planted too deep, you don't know it. When you see a girdling root, most people realize that doesn't look good. It's not good. But when it's covered, you don't know it and you can't deal with it if you don't know that it's there. How do you uncover the root flares? You got to be careful whichever way you go because you can easily nick the tissue. If you wash your hands or your hands are in water for a long period of time, you know how easy it is to make a nick. The same thing happens with this tissue that is covered up. So you have to be very carefully, uh, careful when you do it or you'll actually do more damage than you do good. By water, a lot of times people think that you can use water and just wash that soil away. You can, but be careful not to use too high a pressure or you'll do more damage. You, you need to just rinse it away. Don't spray it away if you use water. What is the process of uncovering? You uncover, then you make a determination as to which girdling roots uh, you can remove. Uh, you kind of assess the, the situation. And then the third is you kind of finish the area off. So it's not just a one-time thing. When somebody starts this process, they need to realize it's almost like exploratory surgery. Until you uncover, you don't know what you have. And people often say, well, how much does it cost? And my response, well, how many problems do you have? That's what a tree likes to be. And if you have a tree that has root flares like that, it's going to be a happy tree and uh, going to grow big and you'll have very few problems.